Prophet David Alahisalam. Prophet David was a soldier in the Thalit army who would fight against the Jalut troops. These troops did have high courage and war tactics and extensive knowledge. This is very illustrated in the Prophet David. Even so, the Thalit troops tried to be patient and asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for help when fighting the Jalut troops. When they came out with his troops, Thalit reminded his troops that the journey was very far and would bring great thirst. And Thalit reminded them that later there would be a river which would be a test for them from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the thirst they experienced. The test was that the Israelites were not allowed to drink from the river, except for a sip for those who were very, very thirsty. It turned out that what happened then was that many of them drank from the river. This is also proof of how rotten their hearts are because they dare to disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's commands. It is mentioned in an authentic hadith that previously there were thousands of people who came out with Thalit to fight Jalit. However, when passing through the river, in the end many of them fall down due to drinking from the river water. As for those who persisted not to drink, about 300 plus a dozen more people, it is reported that the remaining number is equal to the number of companions who faced the Battle of Badr. And when they advanced against Jalut and his army, they prayed, O oh our Lord, grant us patience, make our steps firm and help us to face the disbelievers. Quran Surah Al-Baqarah verse 250 They are not sure of themselves, unless they have faith in Allah. In this war, with the courage he possessed, the Prophet David advanced towards Jalut and then killed him. Gradually, the number of Jalut troops decreased. The remaining troops were getting weaker and began to retreat until finally Jalut lost then the Prophet David was appointed king. In this case, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then appointed the Prophet David to be a prophet. Allah also gave wisdom to a strong kingdom after the hard work that was done by the Prophet David and his other Thalit troops. Not only that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also gave the Prophet David a gift in the form of obedience to worship and extensive knowledge. In addition, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also gave him a wab characteristics, namely a leader who has perfect knowledge about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is in accordance with the following word of God. Be patient with what they say, and remember our servant Dawood who has power. Truly he is a wab. Quran Surah Shed verse 17 Melodious voice In addition, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also gave a gift to the Prophet David in the form of a melodious voice. When Prophet Dawood alaihissalam recited Daikr in the morning and evening, the birds came and gathered with Prophet Dud alaihissalam to join in the morning and evening Daikr. When the Prophet Dud alaihissalam read the Zabur, the birds would also come to listen to the Prophet Dud alaihissalam reading. Some say that the birds came because his voice was so beautiful. The point is that Prophet Dawood alaihissalam heard the mountains and the birds glorifying. In fact, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has subdued birds and mountains to glorify Allah with the Prophet David. This is one of the most amazing miracles given by Allah to Prophet David. This is also found in the following word of God. Be patient with all that they say, and remember our servant David, who has strength, indeed he is very obedient to God. Verily, we subjected the mountains to glorify with him, David, in the evening and in the morning, and, we subjected, the birds in a state of gathering. They were all very obedient to Allah. Quran Surah Shed verses 17 to 19. Fasting History. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also praised Prophet Dud Alaihissalam about his worship. From Abdullah bin Amr bin al-Ash radhiallahu anhu that the Messenger of Allah said to him, The prayer that Allah loves the most is the prayer of the Prophet David alaihissalam. And the shown fasting, that Allah loves the most is the fasting of the Prophet David alaihissalam. The Prophet Dawood alaihissalam slept until the middle of the night and then prayed one-third of it then went back to sleep at the last one-sixth of the night. And the Prophet David alaihissalam fast a day and break the fast a day. Hadith Bukhari Privileges of the Prophet David alaihissalam And we taught, also, to David how to make armor for you, to protect you in battle. Are you grateful, to Allah? Quran Surah Al-Anbaya verse 80 
Previously it was mentioned that when people go to war, they use armor that comes from a plate that is easily penetrated by a sword. However, the Prophet Dud Alahisalam was the first person to make armor with iron, so that if a sword hits him it is like an eye hitting an eye, which can make the sword dull or even break. And this is the first discovery ever made by the Prophet David Alahisalam. Then the Prophet David Alahisalam was also blessed with time. In Sahih al-Bukhari it is stated that the Prophet said, it has been made easy for the Prophet Dawud alayhi salam to read the Quran, Book of Zabur. He once ordered that the saddles of his riding animals be prepared, so he finished reading the book before the saddles of his riding animals were finished being prepared, and he did not eat anything except from the work of his own hands. The scholars explained that the meaning of this hadith is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestowed blessings on Prophet David alayhi salam with a short time being long for Prophet David alayhi salam. Because, we know that putting a saddle is fast. Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who governs time and the earth. Therefore, the scholars say that it has been mentioned that some of the Salaf read 30 juz in one cycle. Some others said that they died in one night. In fact, some of the others there are caught him three times in one day. How could it be? So, we say that this can also happen as in the story of the Prophet David alayhi salam that Allah blessed him for his time, so that even though it was a short time, he has read a lot. This is among the forms of power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.